comes the axe. Prove yourself. Maybe this would be nice to go in that kill. Lots of damage coming out of the pockets. Well, trying to get them oh, down. Do you see Clockwork here rotating behind this tiny though in this top lane? Mandit comes out there, level two. Gets the avalanche off though. There's the coconut coming through. No. Doesn't have quite enough mana. Yes. Oh, it's all cool though, it's really gone through. My bad. But the Mandic is going to do a lot of damage here on the Titan, trying to shoot down. Meanwhile, middle though, they find the first blood against the Yeah, Gogs are up again. Avalanche though, but they get the cask off from the Witch Doctor, and he's going to get blocked in the trees here. But look at this space creation. All this time, TB not. He's still not dying. Bang, finally. Yeah. Finally, they get him. They will be dodged. Avalanche comes through holding back the clock, but the right clicks and the Witch Doctor doing work. Nice Hekinesis there from the Rubik holding it back, but he actually still might go down. One more click of the Terraid will find the kill, so they get themselves another kill on the board there. The score now 1 to 2. TB picking up both those kills, of course, so he's going to have fun with that. Meanwhile, Sanking solo kills the puck in the bottom lane. Okay. Excuse me, how did you manage that? Oh, and there's a region here just... as well. Oh, with the only checks. Come on. He's going to see it. Yeah. PL getting heavily bullied though in this middle lane. Up top, Clockwork finds the tiny bomb there as well to try to harass back the Queen of Pain, but no one will die. Oh, scan used by the Earthquake though. He's, oh, he's hunting. Can he get the snipe? Gets the kick. Yes, he can. Nicely played. He clock in his eyes. There's silence as well. Got the one charge though to keep the puck alive. Actually, should be fine. Clockwork rotating over. Has the battery of soul. Of course, they're doing a lot of damage. They drop down the coil, trying to bring it down onto the Sand King instead. He has his own one charge to keep him alive with the Barrow Strike though that snaps the coil into his allies and they just try and disengage now the coconuts will come out though onto the tiny just the one stun there's the mantis as well as the follow-up pucks rotate over as well for this kill as the queen coil will drop down finds the tiny he's sitting there but he's just out of range they get the science as well it's gonna be enough damage because the avalanche there with the toss as well trying to turn it back around earth comes through as well tiny will fall but they get the puck kill there with the fade bolt can they find anything well pl's gonna rotate in this as well gets the spirit arts there will find the second kill there clockwork going down as well Regen Rune, they will be picked up. He doesn't have another Barrow Strike for three seconds. He's not going to get this oh. one, surely. Nah, Queen of Pain. Oh, actually, might go for the kill here. Warp. No, Barrow Strike well again. Nicely done. That was really well executed. Uh, securing, it, uh, securing it for the Queen of Pain. It's Space actually quite, quite a good route for uh, the Dive TV, They get the Avalanche. That is a lot of damage with the Fade Bolt burst Avatos combo. And Earthway just gets TPs out. Nope. They get the uh, lift me mods, the Witch Doctor might be able to find this kill. They have the tree throw, it's not going to be enough, or is it? Yes it is, they have the toss there anyway if they needed it, but now they've got nothing left. About 600, 700 gold away. Oh, he wants to go for the puck, but this is fairly greedy if he manages to stun. Well, up top though, they've got 10 Meanwhile, with the Avatos combination onto the clockwork, and that is a lot of magic damage. With that aggressive null field on the Rubik. Easy kill. Queen of Pain, with that aggressive null field on the Rubik. Easy kill. Queen of Pain has the veil of Discord. They are chasing the Sanky. Can they find this kill? There's the Dream Coil. They should be able to find this. Surely, do they have any detection? Queen of Pain doesn't want to use uh, the ult. Yeah, pretty Barrow much. Strike but comes out. Might get forced to. Duke through the trees. No way does he get out of this. Has the TP Channel available? It. It's going to they use the Sonic Wave. And they will bring he him down. Meanwhile, well, killing spree, especially against the PL, gives you that extra armor. Um, pretty much as well as negating the well. good of the fight. Silence, the start of the hookshot comes through there for the clockwork. Quat might actually go down. One more hit. No, she somehow stays alive. Magnetize is going to do enough of the urn charge. It will. Killing spree there for the earth spirit. And Tiny, meanwhile, up top with the Rubik again. Do they want to defend this tier one? It looks like they so do. They've been looking for the deny, but. Barra strike there with the blink. The hookshot comes through there. Manadix as well, though. Nice cogs from the clockwork, but it's not doing too much. Actually, the call comes through as well. Sonic Wave comes out. They bring down the PL, but the stolen Sonic Wave there from the Rubik. Returns the favor to the Quop. Aero Spirit will drop as well, but San King does the work, but he also goes in. They have enough damage to bring down the puck with that Urn Charge. I don't think so. Oh, yes, just oh. the last tick. He goes down. Oh, yeah. This is probably his first item. Yeah, that's his own Urn coming out for the Clockwork as well. So, you know, that's a that's a big well, item. They find the Terra Blade, though. Ooh. This time. It's a Blink Dagger for, uh, for Puck, and he's probably going to TP in here in a second. Find the Tiny. tiny. Deathward comes out with the Maledict, gets the Avalanche there onto the Queen of Pain, but he will go down. Actually pretty smart, so he used it and he, he knew that Puck knew he was there, so yeah, now they find the free D-Ball. Hookshot, they will cancel the roll with the Deathward Maledict, it's gonna be enough damage, they find that kill there, nice rotation from the Witch Doctor Clockwork. TB should be able to push into that tier 1 as well. Oh no, Finds maybe not. Puck. That's not a target you want to find though. He's taking a lot of damage. Coconut again coming through the Sonic Wave. Double kill for the Witch Doctor Roo. Can they find any more? Looks like they'll be able to find the Rubik as well. Another blink forward. One more right click should be able to do the job. There we go. Run. 
No run. No, you're not gonna get it though with the coconut. I might actually die. Uh, Bar strike will oh, oh just about misses, but the PL's gonna do a lot of damage to the Stigbay. Maddox will come out. Hook shot will hit onto the creep, but nice quick lift there. Toss Avalanche. The cop comes in there with the Sonic Wave doing a lot of damage with this DD as well. Rubik will fall with the coin as well. But here comes the epicenter from the Sand King doing a lot of damage into this fight. Can they find this Queen of Pain? There's the Avalanche, there's the Toss to get the double kill on the PL. But here comes Terra Blade. Metamorphs stop hitting very hard. Sacking low, drops, runs to the side of the fight. But this is turned around with all these illusions from the PL. No more mana left. The Silence comes up from the uh, TB as well. And there's the Barrow Strike back in for the Sacking. They find four heroes. Clockwork, the only one left alive at least. But here's a Siege Cart wave. It might look to try and push this advantage with no Quap and no Terra Blade. Oh, he wants it. Oh, nice no, kick. He's Avalanche Toss. Here. Burst, that's a die back on the puck, 65 seconds on the sidelines. They do find the Sand King on the back lines from the clockwork. Death War coming through there from Witch Doctor. He's going to go down there. Killing spree now for Nico Baby on this PL, and they should be able to take down this tier 3 tower, if not more. Is he going to hook shot it, buddy? He, he is. is. He's going for it. He's but trying no to stall them. Shot. Gets stunned up, brought down. Double kill for PL. And they get the tier 3. The uh, Blink Force stuff, Tiny, because it does. Oh, say that. We'll come back to that point. Middle. Clockwork, he's in trouble. We'll get brought down one more whack from the tree. We'll find tree, it. Killing spree yeah. there for the tiny. There's the dream coil available. Pop aggressively blinks forward. There's the tiny with the blink toss there onto the witch doctor. He is gone. Has buyback 30 seconds. Previous fights where the fight pretty much ended with Sand King down, with the Earth Spirit down. So all your stunts are dead by the time the uh, hold on episode that pulled him on Drain gets a oh, by puck. Feel the pain. All right. Out with the orb, Pop is in position. Hook shot there from the clockwork. Comes through. Cogs there. British are getting very low. Sonic Wave comes through. Actually, five steals the Aegis there with the blink through. Aggressive play from the die, and it pays off. Here comes the Sand King. I guess the beautiful double Barra strike, though. Death Wall coming out trying to force back the Rubik, but clockwork getting so low from the Magnetizer. Unstoppable streak now for the PL. Can five survive this and walk away with this stolen Aegis? I don't know if he can. He's got another blink up in one second. He's, oh, the Yules comes there through. Defensively, though, but there's the Bar Strike stun that burst the Aegis. Meanwhile, but Tiny fighting no kills. He's silenced, though, from the Earth Spear. There's the Telekinesis. Beautifully right. controlled. They get it. The second set of rocks going in fairly soon. But yeah. Tiny, I don't I don't see them not uh, getting a lot of damage Old done. Hold him back, but there's the Force Stop Avalanche with the Toss. Can they find him? Yes, they can. The buyback buy Force from the Quark. Quark. But that's gonna stop them. I don't think so. No Sonic Wave. Clockwork comes through though. There's the Barrow Strike out of the cogs, no problem. Earth Spirit's still there trying to fight into him. Getting a lot of damage actually from the Quap will go down. TB is here as well now actually with the Net Moths. trying to force the back. Quap again brings aggressively forwards. But here comes PL. BKB will be forced from the TB and they're going to try and run themselves out. The Barrow Strike episode comes through there, finds the Clockwork. Death Ward there from the Witch, but it's only onto Illusions, not onto anything else. Here comes the Stone of Coconuts there from the Rubik, trying to turn this back around onto five. PL jumps himself back into five. There's the toss. There goes the TB. He's down for 60 seconds. No buyback. Godlike streak now for Nico, baby. They'll try and chase him out. Quap with the aggressive TP, but here is Tiny with the stun. No Yules there from five. He's too quick. Tiny that gets the Avalanche toss there onto five. Great stun and silence there from the Earth, but a nice defensive glimmer kick there from the Witch, keeping the Queen of Pain alive. Rocket Flare comes through as well, but there's the roll from the Earthspray, and they will go down surely if the right click survive. But no, nice kick keeps it back. We will finally tick downs from that damage. Can they get anything more? PL's in the back of this fight, the Cogs, they will hold him back. Here comes the coil. Will miss, though. Hits to Nuvin. An epicenter they're coming through there for the Sagging. Barstrick there onto two, brings down the Clockwork. BKB forced with the Glimmer Cape there. But I a beautiful Sonic Wave gets a double kill there for the Queen of Pain. This fight is going on. Holding back the Earth Spirit. Here comes Queen of Pain. Long range barrow strike for the Sanking will miss. Double core there from the puck on the sidelines. Hookshot comes through onto the Sanking as well. Death Ward there onto the Earth Spear. Rubik will go down and snaps the core. Takes a lot of damage. Puck will get the second kill there onto the Earth Spear. And they'll turn towards the Sanking there. But this long range barrow strike, but it's not longer than the long range blink of the Quap. They should be able to bring him down there. Tries to duke himself through with the Sandstorm, but one more click should bring him down. Double kill there for Brown Dog on the PL.